very difficult. You know, the way Seema covered all, I was really thinking if she will ask me the same question to me, what I'm going to speak. But I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think she covered almost, you know, all challenges. I think one area, one or two areas that I can think that, you know, so I always say when we are moving, you know, our infrastructure applications on the cloud, data on the cloud, most important. I think it is more like, you know, we are giving our home keys to someone else to manage that with the stuff inside, which is a very important point. And most of the time I've seen being a CISO, you know, we think that now it's responsibility of the cloud service provider, you know, I'm not accountable, but I have a different opinion in that because at the end of the, at the, end of the day, if there is any incident, any data leakage, then uh, responsibility, accountability, most of the you know most important term is still stays with you know organization, data custodian. At the end of the day, we are the data custodian. I think one important challenge which you know uh, I personally faced, and you know being a part of Infogain, we are on uh, all uh, you know primary uh, primary cloud service provider, I think monitoring of threat landscape, which is very important because we think that, you know, there are some default uh, security configuration that we are getting and, you know, my role ends here. I think that is very important and how CISO, how security teams can do that. And a very important point, I can remember uh, one of the incidents which happened in Capital One in US in 2019 and she touched upon the misconfiguration part. I think very important especially API 1, and you know, when this Capital 1 incident happened and, you know, investigation detail revealed, finally, it was some misconfiguration. The API, uh, it was actually uh, vulnerable in uh, web application firewall, which was actually deployed at, you know, cloud parameter, and which was, uh, you know, hacked. So I think this is uh, another area, you know, that challenge, and that will be continue. I also, uh, you know, uh, have a dual responsibility of DPO. So privacy point of view, very important. GDPR was one, you know, buzz which came in 2000, you know, 18 and we all were, you know, talking about. But I think now every country is coming up with their privacy laws, the lo localization of data, you know, uh, uh, CCPA, CCPA, California Consumer Privacy Act, Singapore has PDPA. I, we all know that our PDP came bounce back and I'm sure that again, you know, we all are hoping that will come out. So I think privacy of data, which is very important, how we are storing PII, the right of forgetting, all controls around that. I think these are some challenges we all faced in 2022, or I'm sure some of them will be continue and maybe some new will come in 2023. Thank you.